Hello everyone, I'm Chad Hooten with Hooten's Arkansas Football at Arkansas Children's Hospital where they have the Friday night sports injury clinic this fall. It's off to a great start. Football season's off to a great start and every Friday night from 10 to midnight, Children's Hospital. Of all the great services, another one and I think this is fantastic. You don't have to wait till Saturday morning any longer to see a uh, specialist on Friday nights. Arkansas Children's Hospital is offering a Friday night sports injury clinic if a young athlete gets injured on a Friday night this fall. And I'm joined this, uh, this afternoon by uh, Dr. Brant Sacklaven, who is right. um, <laughs> who's on the sports medicine team here. He's the uh, chief of pediatric orthopedics and the co-director of the sports medicine department at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Dr. Sacklaven, thanks for joining us. Yeah. And uh, Appreciate you, wanna, having me. you bet want to talk about knee injuries. I was, we were just talking a minute ago before we came on. I was at the Benton Arkadelphia game on Friday night and there were three cheerleaders on the Benton cheerleader squad who, who had those knee braces on. And we want to talk about maybe how to prevent that, uh, how it happens and the recovery time and all that. But first, let's just talk about what is the ACL and, and, and why is it sure. so important to the body? Sure. So, you know, the, the ACL is uh, one of the ligaments of the knee and it stands for anterior cruciate ligament. And I usually tell patients when I'm kind of going through an injury, there are four main ligaments of the knee. I mean, there's obviously other ligaments as well, but the four main ones we kind of think about or talk about are the ACL, which is in the front of the knee, the PCL, which is in the back, the LCL, which is on the outside of the knee, and the MCL, which is on the inside. And the ACL is important because it stabilizes the knee for cutting and pivoting sports. Um, and so it helps prevent other injuries to the knee because it gives it stability. So if you don't have an ACL, it leads to the knee kind of slipping around and you can end up with meniscal tears and cartilage damage and, and things, injuries to the knee that we can't necessarily repair as well as we can repair the ACL. So it's, um, I do tell patients, it's kind of like a little bit like the front door to your house. You know, if you don't have a front door to your house, your house is still a house. You have kitchen, bathroom, roof but you have the front door to protect the things inside your house that you can't replace. And the ACL is much like that. You have an ACL to protect the things inside your knee that you can't really replace readily. So that's kind of what it is and why it's important. If there is an ACL injury and they happen, yep. um, what happens, what's the recovery time and what's the process of getting a young athlete or, or anyone back into the game? Sure. So, you know, every injury is probably a little bit different. Um, by and large, when you, the ACL tears, the knee is, is kind of angry for the first several weeks. And so we kind of actually use the first two to four weeks for the knee to kind of calm down um, to where it's not quite as inflamed because you really want to go into surgery to get it fixed with the knee fairly quiet. You want to go into surgery uh, with range of motion and stuff like that because if you go into surgery with a stiff knee, you'll kind of come out of surgery with a stiff knee, and we really want to prevent any stiffness. So the first few weeks are trying to get the inflammation down, and then you have surgery, and then after surgery, you're on crutches for a few days to a few weeks, depending on what else is wrong in the knee. Uh, and then we typically start rehab um, as close to immediately as possible. So usually around a week, the kids are getting into physical therapy to try to get their range of motion back, try to build their strength back, uh, and try to get them back to a more normal lifestyle. So. There's really no way to prevent them. Right. Is there, what are some precautions? Is there anything you can do to kind of maybe help? Uh, yeah. And so that, you know, that's what, I mean, the perfect world is we just prevent these injuries and then we don't have to worry about coming back from surgery and, you know, having, right. losing your senior season or losing a, a yeah. year. And so we really want to prevent them. There's no perfect answer to how we can prevent them. There's some strategies that there is some research to support. So, um, obviously strengthening the knee and keeping the knee in shape is important, but the muscles above the knee are also important. Your hips, your core, and all that, your balance, all that's very important. We think that, you know, uh, at least in the female athlete, they can be taught some strategies uh, when they're younger that will carry on into the future to help prevent that, um, but with some sort of ACL preventative techniques. Uh, but there's not, you know, great, there's no, no way to guarantee it. We think it helps, but we don't know if it's what guaranteed. Are some, what are some of those for uh, for girls and, and uh, to maybe to maybe sure. help? And it, it, I mentioned mostly girls because uh, most of the research has been done on on the female athlete as far as ACL prevention because they're at the greatest risk. But some of this stuff can be used on male athletes as well, particularly male athletes that are more at risk. So one of them is very simple, which sounds crazy, but is landing mechanics. 
And so there, there's a position, kind of, kind of the, the death position, the ACL, so landing with your knees, kind of going in, kind of knock-knee position. That's a very um, stressful position for the ACL. And so there are certain um, ways to teach people how to land. And we think that teaching them how to land kind of helps keep the ACL out of a bad position. Now, you can't land that way all the time, but we think that sort of a mental reminder of that so is one thing. And the other thing is working on strengthening, particularly, the, like I said, the core and the balance muscles, but also the hamstrings. The hamstrings are very important for stabilizing uh, the knee and providing extra support for the ACL. So they give it a little extra, uh, extra little um, kind of tension to it. So. But it's important to kind of get that as a habit before they even hit puberty. So yeah, it, it is. We, th we think that if you can uh, get the young athletes younger uh, before puberty, then maybe that those mechanisms kind of carry over into adulthood. Whereas once you kind of reach the more kind of teenage, late teen stage, some of the habits you learn there don't stay as long as we want them to. You kind of have to relearn and over and again. But whereas when, if you get it when you're younger, you kind of keep it. So, yeah. Dr. Brett Sackleven with Arkansas Children's Hospital. Thanks for the you're all welcome. the good info. Yeah. This is a this is a great service every Friday yeah. night from 10 to midnight. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good deal. I mean, um, because um, I think it helps maybe keep kids out of the ER. And uh, I think that's always an important thing because, uh, you know, it's um, it's hard to be, have an injury and have to wait there for a while sometimes because there's lots of there's a lot of sick kids in the ER and that need attention, too. And so if we can help yeah. help avoid that for everybody, it'd be well, good. I'm thinking about the mom or dad who they're son is injured on a Friday night or their daughter cheering or whatever and yeah. they're they don't want to wait till Saturday morning yep. and have they can come and on Friday nights now sure. uh, to Arkansas Children's from yep. 10 to midnight uh, no appointments necessary it's the Friday night sports injury clinic they'll see you and you can go to bed knowing exactly at least what you've got and what you're up against or, yeah. or maybe if everything's okay so don't forget about it every Friday night the Arkansas Children's Hospital Friday night sports injury clinic from 10 to midnight Dr. Sackleben, thank you again. Appreciate and, it. And uh, we'll see you next time right here from Arkansas Children's Hospital.